Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I welcome all of you in my today's video that is regarding the RFTs and the LFTs interpretations. <coughs> so, coming towards the RFTs interpretation first. <coughs> so, if you are having the RFTs, in which sequence you have to proceed? <coughs> so, the first thing is it is a two step method. First step is the RFTs you are having is it either the pre renal picture or the post renal picture or, or the renal picture <coughs> the deranged RFTs of course you are having the urea and you are having the creatinine so if the deranged RFTs is it a renal problem in the kidney post renal problem be below the kidney ureter bladder or urethra or the pre renal problem in the vessels problem in the vascular system so for that we use this ratio that is called bun to crit ratio that is blood urea nitrogen to creatinine ratio but in rfts that we do in all labs that has urea that has not bun so how do you convert urea into bun the formula for blood urea nitrogen is you take the urea and divide that by two so that becomes bun and then you put in the formula that value the answer from this formula put that value in the formula and divide by creatinine if that is more than 20 if that is more than 20 it means it is either pre renal or post renal it is either pre renal or post renal but if that is less than 20 it means that is renal it means that is renal so the first thing is you have to identify whether it is pre renal or post renal are renal if it is post renal most common cause is obstruction relieve the obstruction problem is solved if it is pre renal most common cause is decreased perfusion find out the cause of cause of decreased perfusion improve uh, uh, correct the cause or if will be normalized if it is the renal find out the cause what is the most common cause of uh, acute renal failure or chronic renal failure there is the hypertension and diabetes so you manage hypertension and diabetes you cannot actually reverse if there is advanced kidney disease but if it is a uh, not that much advanced you can actually control it so that was the first step the second step is you look at the which, which one is superior the creatinine is superior or the gfr GO4 we calculate by creatinine clearance formula. So the answer is the GO4. Well, it is said creatinine begins to rise. The term is begins to rise when equal to or more than 50 to 80 percent of the total neurons are destroyed. So it means if you see a creatinine value of 2, it means there is a significant damage in the term of gfr so you calculate the gfr you calculate the gfr and the gfr is calculated by formula that is of course everyone has a uh, nowadays a mobile and in that mobile you are having a metscape so go to to the metscape and type the creatinine clearance and there is a formula you have to put just the values the age the the sex the weight and the create value these four values and that will calculate the gfr and you can actually first diagnose the damage if there is damage or not point number two you can grade you can grade the disease whether this is ckd grade one two three four and how do you differentiate between acute kidney failure and chronic kidney failure aki versus ckd is it the gfr no based on the gfr you cannot differentiate between acute kidney injury and ckd it is point number one anemia in ckd you are having anemia that is normocytic normochromic anemia in aki there is no anemia point number two in ckd you are having decreased calcium increased phosphate increased parathyroid hormone well these may be normal in aki point number three in ckd you are cystic lesion on the x-rays if you see the x-ray of the rest or the bone the humerus you will see a cystic lesion that is a feature of the ckd 
so based on, on these three things you can differentiate between the two so that was a discussion regarding the RFTs and how we can uh, diagnose pre renal post renal and renal and then in the renal we can calculate the gfr and we can grade the disease and then we go can, can go for the ultrasound and ultrasound can further guide us regarding the ckd it, that that will show the uh, the grading also and that will also show the the, the, the echogenicity of the kidney and that that will show, show the size of the kidney based on the size you can also uh, diagnose the CKD and you can diagnose on the basis of differentiation cortico medullary differentiation if that is lost that is also one of the feature of the CKD